Are we supposed to eat pork? Not even knowing y'all feel it. Remember, we gotta be a warm Are you supposed to eat pork? Are us blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans supposed to be eating pork? You think so? Do you believe in God? All right, let's see what God says. Bring it out. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it out. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. So the swine, we're talking about pork now. All right, read. And be cloven footed. Yet he chose not to cut. He is unclean to you. He is what? Unclean to you. So pork is unclean to us. Right, Do you right. know that God will judge you for eating pork, Fred? Go ahead, Fred, speak. I'm 78 years old. Uh huh. And when I was coming up, if it hadn't have been for the pork, you would starve to death. Listen, listen now. Listen, please listen. We listen. Please listen. At that time, pork was almost free. Yeah. And we all fall short in the government. I still sometimes eat sin because that's what I was, was raised up on. That's what you was raised up on. But let me tell you something. You know what? The reason why we eat it is because that's slave food. Right. right that right. food that they gave us is slavery. Right. right. That, that's, not, that's not something that we're supposed to eat because it defiles our temple. Right. Read. I'm aware of read, read, uh, read that again. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Right. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be clothed footed, yet he chose not to cut. He is unclean to you. Read. Of the flesh shall ye not eat. Of the flesh what? Shall ye not eat. So, friend, although you might have been on the earth for such and such a uh, for seventy some years, but wait, when you know better, you do better. Right. You understand? Right. So now you're right. learning better. Wait, friend, give me one second. Let the Lord speak. Now, give me Deuteronomy twenty-eight and verse forty-eight. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and verse forty-eight. Bring it up. Third four. Shall not serve thine enemy. So the Lord said, we will serve our enemies. Today, who do we serve in this country? What nation of people? The same people that did this. Hey, get the sign underneath there for me real quick. Underneath there, officer. In this country, who do we serve? Look at this sign. Who did this to us? What nation of people? Who did this to us? Who sold us into slavery? What people did that? Who sold us into slavery? Was it the Chinese man, the white man? It was the Chinese man that sold us into slavery. I mean, the white man that sold us into slavery, right? That's who had us on the auction blocks, correct? Right, right. So those are the ones who sold us into slavery. So it said, we will serve our enemies. So to this day, we still serve our enemies because we have to go to them for a job. Right. Read. Therefore, shall not serve that enemy which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent these, these nations against us, read, in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. So when we're hungry, when we wanted something to eat in slavery, guess what they gave us? They gave us pork. They right. said, here, this is going to defile you. We're right. going to give you pork. Right. You know what? We're going to eat the best food. And you know what they did? They made our mothers cook for the white man in his house. And they ate the best, the best food. Right. Now they gave us scraps. 
Right. And that's why you eat it. Because pork rinds ain't nothing but the skin of the pork. Right. right. You eating, you eating basic, you basically still eating slave food in right. 2019. Right. In 2019, you go to the corner store to shop on the Sabbath to go get the foul food. Right. right. Keeping you in sin. That's all they're doing is keeping us in sin. Go ahead, friend. Ask me a question. No, 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 no. You see, right now, Fred, you're under the misconception. You say you believe. That means you're not 100% sure. So now we're going to get the 100% sure fact of why it happened. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Now we're going to show you exactly why it happened. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Lord said, if we did not listen to his voice, listen to his words, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. If we didn't do what he told us to do, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now my question to you, Fred, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Yes, it's a bad thing. Hey, what's going on, brother? What's your name, young man? George? Junior? My name is Luke. Real cool question. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing. So God said if we didn't listen to him, he would bring all these bad things on us. Let me now let me ask you a question. Our neighborhood. Is it good things happening in our neighborhood or bad things? Bad thing. What you say? Bad thing. We losing family members. All these things are happening. But the Lord actually said that this will happen. Read Look at up. Verse 16, excuse me. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So it said we will be cursed in the city. Where are we at right now? Where we at? Where we at? We in the city. Uh -huh. it said, cursed, where will we be? Cursed shall thou be in the city. So it said we will be cursed in the city. Uh -huh. You see these people in this son that went into slavery? We are cursed everywhere we go. Right. Every, every city you go to across right. America, across the world, we are cursed. Right. And you know what else we eat doing in um, them ghettos? We eat them pork. Right. Right. We eat them swine. Right. We following this religion. We following this white man right. who gives right. us Christmas, who gives us Father's Day. Right. These are of the devil. Right. Right. You understand that? This was given to us in slavery, and we still following these traditions Till this day. Right, right, right. But it's our responsibility to teach the young men. This is a young man. Junior, a young man. How old are you, Junior? You're 15. And how old are you? 78. We got a 78-year-old and a 15-year-old right here, right now. Two different right. generations who saw two different levels of tribulation, but are in the same city. Right. right. Still going through the same problem. Right. right. Because God said it and read it again. Curse shall not be. In the city. Because God said we would be cursed in the city. And you know what would happen in the city? Give me verse 28. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 28. Oh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. It's madness that in 2019 that we're still following this white man. That we think that this white man is going to save us. When has a white man ever saved you, Junior? When has a white man ever saved you? Never. 78 years on this earth and they never saved you. Right, but guess right. what they did do? They put right. you in the oppression. They right. put you in the ghetto. They, right. they shoot us down. Right. Now we walk around and say, hands up, don't shoot. Right. Say, yeah, hands up, they still shoot. Right. They still bust us down. Right. Go ahead. <coughs> I know I saw uh -huh.
Okay. Attention, pay attention, Junior. This is important, brother. And wherever you're going, it's going to be there. We, I mean, go ahead. He died on the operating table to have an open eye surgery. Uh -huh. When I told me I need a facelift, because they put me on a monitor. Okay. When I went back the next day, the doctor, the cardiologist, asked me, had I tampered with it? I say no. Oh, when I talk, they look at it again. I say, may I say something? I say, somebody tampered with it. I say, but well, it was him. It was him. But wait, wait, wait. I bring your printout. No, you don't have to show me a printout, but I want to show you something. The Lord saved you for this day right here. Right. The right. Lord kept right. you alive for this day right here. Right. Right. I want you to know this. Read right. that. Seven, verse 17. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 66 and verse 17. Read they that They that sanctify them. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden. In the garden. When they purify themselves in the garden, that's talking about your churches. So I got a question for you. Real quick. Do you eat pork? You said that like, yeah, yeah, I eat pork. I eat pork every chance I get. Let's see what, let's see what the Lord says about that. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 17. Uh -huh. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden, behind one tree in the midst, eating swine flesh. Eating what? Swine flesh. You literally eating swine's flesh right, right. right now. Right. Right. So, the Lord, so the Lord's giving way. The Lord's telling you something right now. He saved you for this day. 78 years in your life. And you didn't know that you weren't supposed to eat swine's flesh. Right, right, right. Right. And the abomination and the mouth shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. They shall be consumed together. Do you know what it means right. to be consumed, Junior? <coughs> what does it mean? Put to death. That's what it means. So right. the Lord saved your life. Because, give me Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19. The right Lord up. saved your life for this day. Because right. he gave us a choice between life and death. Right, right. But you know what? What did it look like we chose? When he gave us a choice between life and death, which one do you think we chose? You think we chose life? You th what do you think we chose? God gave us a choice between life and death. Which one do you think we chose? As a nation of people, when you look at this sign, we are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. We descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the greatest men to ever walk this earth. That's right. But you know what? We chose death. I'm going to give you the answer. We chose death. That's why we get shot down. Right. When you go to the white neighborhood, their neighborhood looks like life. Right. It's vibrant. Right. They don't have police on the corner. Right. They, look, look, uncut yard. They don't have that going on. They don't have brothers wow. posted up in the corner store trash. selling dope. They don't have trash on the corner. Right. They don't have that. Right. You know why? Because God said this. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 19. Right. I saw heaven and earth to record this day against you. Against us. Read. That I have set before you life and death. So God gave us a choice between life and death. Right. Junior, you're not going to hear this in school. Right. You're not going to hear that you are the greatest young man walking the face of the earth. Right. You're not right. going to hear that you're an Israelite. Right. Right. You can go to church for 78 years and you still didn't know that you are an Israelite. Right. That means right. the churches have failed us. The right. schools have failed us. Right. The whole damn system failed us. Right. Right. Blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. He said, choose life. Right. But like I said, we chose death. Because right. I see death on every corner. Right. Go ahead, Fred. You like you got a question. Uh, I came to this area right down the block. Uh huh. About two or three months ago. Uh huh. And I slept in my car. Yeah, over two months. You could have people in the store that say that. Okay. I chose. I have a cottage on the river. 
Okay. God said you here right now. Right. You still right. the right. God, God said you should not eat swine. Right. Right. What? We, you're eating swine right now. Right. Our neighborhood right. full of swine eaters. Right. This young man came over here and he he, he says he eats pork. So that is a problem because you know what your duty is as an older man in our neighborhood? Your duty was to teach the younger man not to eat pork. Right. God's right. law. Right. Wear fringes. You right. we were supposed to raise him up. Right. But you know what the problem is? We have been misled. Right. We Our parents have misled us. Our right. parents' parents have misled us. Right. But you know what? They didn't know this truth. Right. Give me Colossians 125. Right. Have you ever heard this in your life that you aren't supposed to eat pork? You heard that before? You was in the circle of brotherhood. Right now you're in the circle of brotherhood, my brother. That's right. All right, read this. The book of Colossians, chapter 1 and verse 25. Hey, don't leave, Fred. Hey, Fred. I'm not going nowhere. I'm, oh. I'm talking. Me and somebody is talking. When was that? Me and someone is talking. I'm just okay, read. The book of Colossians, chapter 1 and verse 25. Whereof I am made a minister. Jump to verse 26. Verse 26. Even the ministry which hath been hid from ages. This has been hid from ages. This ministry that you see up here, these brothers up here, we have been hid for ages. Right? Right. Right. And from right. generations. And from generations. Meaning his generation didn't know. Your parents' generation didn't know. And your generation does not know. Right. Right. But now, but now, this moment in time, is made manifest to his saints. To his saints. You are a saint. The right. black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the saints of the Most High God. That's right. I got a question for you. Because you're 15, you at a prime age. Right. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you think that's of the Bible? How long? Okay, so you said no. So how long you been with this girl? Dang, you gotta go to the phone. Hey, are you a real quick question? In this, in this four months, so in four months, have y'all kissed? Y'all smashed? Oh, you said that like yeah, of course. Alright, so that's the first thing you probably look for. But you know what? You're not at the age where you should be even thinking about sex. You at the age where you're supposed to be indulged in this book. Read that. The book of numbers. Chapter 1 and verse 25. Right on. Chapter 1 and verse 3. From 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go, all that are able to go forth to war. Are you able to go to war right now? Are you ready to go overseas and fight a war? No. So the Lord said, when you were at the age of going to war, read. To war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their Wait, wait, wait. How, did it go to the age? From the top. Read it from the top. Read it from the top again. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 3. From 20 years old and upward. That's the point. From 20 years old and upward. Right. Because at your age, you're not even supposed to be thinking about having sex. Because you know what? You can have sex with her and get her pregnant. Right. Are you ready to take care of a child? Can you support a child? Right. Do you have a job? Right. No, you don't even have a job. You right. still in school. You still, as, as, as the old school folks say, you still wet behind the ear. Right. Right. Yeah, you just right. came out the womb. Right. You ain't even ready. You ain't ready for that type of responsibility. But you're doing grown up stuff. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Give me um, Hebrews. Give me Hebrews. Because well, guess what? When you, when you have sex at your age and you get a girl pregnant, you're stuck being a father. You're stuck with a responsibility that's going to be with you for at least 18 years of your life. Right. That you were never prepared for. Right. Right. Read this. The book of Hebrews. So, matter of fact, get Titus. Get Titus. That's what I want. Titus. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 6. Right. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. So the Lord says you have to be sober-minded. Read. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good work. Do you think having sex outside of marriage is a pattern of good work? Bring it out. It's 
It's a sin. Right. You are 100% right. correct, but what is sin? Hey, real quick, friend, what is sin? Because you're an older, older guy, so I expect you to give me a good answer. What is sin? A hundred percent correct. You heard that? You heard that, Junior? When you're not following God's commandments. When you're not following God's commandments. The book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Read it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Wait, 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 wait. Stay there. Stay there. Jump to verse eight. Verse eight. The book of First John, chapter three and verse eight. He that committed sin. Is of the devil. He is of what? Of the devil. Do you want God to see you of the devil? So what do you think you should do with that, that four-month girlfriend that you have? What do you think your steps should be? I know you want some juice box, but the juice box ain't for you. What what you think you're supposed to do? You are supposed to break up with her. Right, that would be right. the righteous thing to do. Right, Give me right. on Romans 6.23. Because... Uh, Fred, do you think this young man is ready to raise a child? No. No, no he's not even a predicament to do that. Hold on, Fred, read. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it up. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. But you know what the problem with our young men is? Give me uh, uh, Exodus. Exodus, uh, what is it, 23? 22, 16. Nice. 22. 22. 23, 23 and 2. two. Ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, 23 and 2. Wait, wait, wait. I know you wanna I know you wanna buck, but hold up, bro. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna give you this. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Because you know what? At your age, peer pressure is a mug. Right. You're going to have brothers talking about smashing. They're going to be talking about all the things that they do. Smoke weed. They're going to talk about hitting licks. They're going to talk about selling dope. They're going right. to talk about everything. The whole nine going to come across you, especially being cursed in the city. Right. 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 These are things that are going to come across your plate. Right. These right. are tests because you know what these tests are to do? To prove if you are of the devil or if you're going to be of God. Right. Right. That's right. the choice. Jesus That's the choice right. of life because... Right. You and you follow a multitude to do evil. This is the reason why we have brothers dead in the street today. Right. This is why our streets are painted with blood. Right. right. This is why we have HIV in our community. Right. right. Clinics, abortion, single right. parent home. Did you grow up in a single parent home? You got both your parents. Do you have friends that have both their parents? You had, they, they, they separated, right? Oh, they got both parents. All your friends. Okay. Well, in the majority of our households, there's single parent households. Right. Where one parent doesn't want to marry the other, or one parent just bucked on the other one. That is the problem. Read it again. The book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 2. Read it out. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shall thou speak in a, in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. So you are supposed to give judgment to those that go astray. You are supposed to be an example for the young men that are around you. Right. Do not fold in that peer pressure. You hear me? Because, hey, I'm telling you, bro, a lot of us don't make it to, to 22. We don't make it to 23. We don't even make it out of our teens sometimes. Right. Right. It is important that you do this. And, friend, it's important that everything that you heard today, that you take it with you. Right. Because them poor guys, they're going to kill you. Right. Right. They're going to put you to death. Right. You don't want right. to die about some damn poor, about a $2 bag, right. about right. a $5 plate. Right. You don't want to die about that garbage. You want to live. You want to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Don't right. 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 So that means you need to repent. There's a number on that card. You need to repent.
I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.